Good morning, Sparky. SparkyUOnline.com. How's everybody doing today? I was out snapping some pictures the other day on a job site that I'm on, and I ran across this disconnect and thought I'd take a picture and put it up for you guys a little bit. Um, this is a three-phase 12208-volt uh, heavy-duty disconnect on an air conditioner. And so you have your black, your red, and your blue there. You have a ground bar here, which is bonded through this screw um, to your cabinet of the disconnect. This screw is not installed when you buy a disconnect. You have to uh, go ahead and screw it on in there. And the purpose of that is you could use this if a piece of equipment required a neutral. You could land your neutral on here. And um, But because there's no neutral on this air conditioner, uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and just bond that and land your ground wires on there. The can's bonded and then your line and your load, that being a line, that being a load, is all uh, tied in together. When these guys installed this, they ran their uh, GFI receptacle up through the home run for the air conditioner, for the serviceability of an air conditioner, and they just kind of fed that on through. That's uh, one of the ways to do it. Uh, another way would be to mount a bell box down below that disconnect and then feed up into your your uh, air conditioning disconnect there. Uh, one thing that I liked about what these guys did was when they installed their fuses they put the label out of the size of the fuse. On the size, side of an air conditioner they have uh, a nameplate rating and they'll have a max fuse size and max fuse size in this particular unit is 40 amps. So when a service guy, service technician, electrician, inspector, whatever opens this disconnect up and sees 40 amp fuses in there, they'll, they'll know what to replace or they'll know that uh, it's fused properly. Uh, let's see what else is on here. Uh, if you take a look over here, it's got torque specifications and a bunch of other information in here. But uh, m mostly in general, just kind of wanted to show you about the, uh, the grounding on that and that ground screw. So a lot of people forget to put that ground screw in there that, that bonds that bus to the cabinet of the disconnect and uh, to point out these fuses and point the, the labels out so people can read them. So just kind of a quickie there. Um, hope it helps somebody out a little bit. Uh, if they go to wire disconnect they kind of get an idea what's going on there. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later.